Aylesworth here sitting and talking to John Markey, who is the executive director of Lake Country Soccer and Southwest Missouri Rush. Hey, John. Hey, Katie. Just wanted to ask you a few questions so everyone can get to know you a little bit better. Sounds good. How's everything downstairs? <laughs> Great. Great. Doing well, doing well. Hey, John, how long have you been involved in soccer? Gosh. So over 45 years, I'm that old. So it, uh, I didn't actually get play my first official game till freshman year in high school. But, uh, but Kansas City, we didn't really have much soccer back then until uh, until then. So, uh, but yeah, so a lot of time, lot, a lot of years. Yeah, sounds like it. So what's your past playing experience? So you started in high school and then what started happened? Started playing in high school. We, uh, we had a brand new team my freshman year. The team was one year old and uh, we actually won state my senior year and then went up and got trounced by a St. Louis team. So it was uh, really exciting. That's when we found out. I, I swear to this day that they had 16 players on the field to our 11, but uh, so, but then I played in Central Missouri State. We were a club team in Central Missouri and a lot of foreign players and then a lot of St. Louis players and really kind of adapted my game a lot there playing with players that have played the game a lot in quite a while. Right. So. right. Sounds like it. So why did you get involved in coaching? Uh, I've always coached. I, I started coaching. I actually helped develop a club, a girls club team at Central Missouri while I was playing there. And then even then, I went to work for the Park and Rec in Warrensburg and did some coaching. I've, I, I've always just enjoyed the coaching piece of it. So uh, after I graduated, I coached Shawnee Mission West High School to the state championship and then moved to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where I coached there. So I've always been involved coaching, mostly as a volunteer early on and then eventually in Birmingham as a profession, uh, running soccer clubs and, and growing competitive soccer programs and then always involved in the recreational piece as well. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, what age group have you most enjoyed coaching? What age group? I think like most, I really enjoy coaching the high school age from a competitive level because of the speed of the game and the tactical aspects of it. But a lot of joys come out of coaching some of the most, some of the youngest and most recreational teams because they learn so much so fast and, and they just soak up that information. So I don't know, it's hard to say because I get different enjoyment from both. Uh, you know, I've coached Development Academy where you're coaching highest level players and you're really focused on just tactical aspects of the game. But just taking a kid from really not knowing how to dribble or touch a ball to really becoming really efficient with a ball, uh, to, I get just as much enjoyment out of that as well. Mm -hmm. Right. And you've had a lot of successes in your coaching career. Tell us about some of the um, successes. Uh, yeah, I've been involved for a long time. Like I said, the, my first year out of college, I, I took over a team um, at Shawnee Mission West High School, and they were, they were actually that year not favored to win the state title in Kansas, but the coach – uh, was a football coach, and so he handled administrative, and I did the, the soccer coaching part. We ended up uh, surprising a lot of people winning state that year, so we had a really good year, and then I moved out. But uh, but I've had, in, when, during my term in Alabama, 20-plus years in Alabama, I don't know, I had a lot of state championships. Uh, never won a regional championship. We, were, we usually got taken out by a Texas or North Carolina team, but we were – in a lot of close games at regionals, but I've been to regionals probably 20 times plus. Wow. So yeah, re really had a lot of success. Great. Um, you know, looking at the, the development of the new soccer club, what impressed you the most about Rush? Uh, being that I'm executive director, it's kind of fell on me to really research the different uh, avenues that we could affiliate with somebody. What we really were looking for is what was going to be most advantageous to the highest percentage of players within our club. And uh, as I looked into it, Rush was a kind of a complete package. Rush has uh, something that is beneficial for recreational players from player development. Rush has a phenomenal uh, program for select players. Their cap program for those that want to go and play in college is, is as good as anybody's with, with plus 10,000. 
I've known about Rush for quite a while, but I, I've never really dug into it as far as uh, I have this time really researching it. And, and they had all the answers. I mean, every time I talk to somebody either from Missouri Rush or uh, Rush out at Allen Colorado, the national organization, they, uh, they all had the same answer. And to me, that continuity is, is what we're looking for. It's really player centric and that's really what we are. We're about individual player development within a team environment and that's really where they're based in. So. Sounds good. Um, what are you most looking forward to in your involvement in, in the Rush soccer program? Uh, reality is, is growing the staff that we have from my standpoint. I enjoy the coaching piece. I'll, I'll probably continue to coach a team here or there. Maybe not. We'll see. But uh, but just as my role as executive director, I'm real impressed with the young staff that we have. Uh, Thalen as a technical director is really focused on his players and player development. Now, not one of our directors ta has talked about how many games they, they win or lose, but it's all been about how my players have improved. And that's really the type of people we want. So I, I'm really excited to, to work with those directors and our staff as we continue that development and, and then move it down into our coaches and, and getting our coaches player centric like that. So I think reality is we have the right people in place. So I think that's really the piece for me uh, that I'm really looking forward to is, is seeing this organization grow. Right. Um, what do you feel are the key factors in player development? Really it's uh, the number one key factor is confidence. Uh, giving players the ability to succeed or fail without fear of failing, uh, knowing that they're going to, they're going to make a mistake, but uh, not, not making that be the, the end all, but understanding that we make a mistake, we make up for it, we work hard and we get better. Uh, getting the players to understand that confidence in their game to try new things is going to take them a lot farther. So I think that's going to be the key for us is making sure that players understand and are focused on their individual improvement and how they can take charge of their own improvement. Don't wait for a coach to make you a better player because demand the, the things that you need to become a better player. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what is the strength that you see in your abilities when it comes to developing Southwest Missouri rush coaches? Uh, from my standpoint and my role, uh, mine is the, the ability to manage our staff and give our staff the tools they need to, to help our coaches. Uh, I can go out and help any coach with my knowledge and, and my education. I can, I'm a, I'm a grassroots instructor and can go out and, and run some courses for our coaches and what have you, along with our staff. But, uh, but really just in my role, making sure that all the directors have the tools they need in order to give all the coaches the tools they need to become better coaches uh, and, and therefore develop better players. Well, John, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. Well, thanks, Katie. Enjoy talking to you. I don't get a chance to talk to you much. I know. Well, take care of yourself. All right. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.